Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am gonna review properly this fast lane helicopter from Toys R Us. Uh, if I didn't mention earlier, this is actually a Toys R Us brand helicopter, um, and the packaging only has mainly these two things. There's nothing else in there else I would have shown you. Um, I don't want to. This is not a mini helicopter. Okay, this is a mid-size outside helicopter although on the box it said indoor outdoors but this is definitely outdoors you can fly it indoors but you're gonna be flying it at a risk of like destroying things one it's quite loud inside and also again because of the size it's it's not your typical let me let me do a little comparison here look at this is a SEMA S109 and if you can see how this is in comparison let me move the transmitter a little bit out of the way. Look how this is your mini helicopter here, and right, this is what you would consider mini, and this is what you would consider nano. Okay, if you look at all three helicopters, this is nano. <laughs> Let me try to get it side to side. So you've got your really really tiny one, you've got your mini, and I would say this is somewhat of a mid-size. I don't know the exact measurement, but this is definitely much bigger. Now, this helicopter is light, and it's not, honestly, like when I carry this two together, if you remember my review for the SEMA, I said one of the things I like about it is that it's very stable, and I think it's because of the weight. When I carry these two, this actually feels a little heavier than this, okay? But this has bigger uh, blades um, and a longer tail, uh, which I'm hoping, or I was hoping, would allow it to be more stable. Now, I've flown it both inside and outside, and I can tell you it's definitely an outdoor helicopter, although it's not able to withstand a lot of wind not even a lot but just a little bit of wind will change the flight movement of this thing um, it climbs very easily it has no problem climbing but when you want to go front to back like you're gonna be watching the uh, the flight video I did outside shortly with this when I did the flight video outside we had a headwind so say it was facing this way so we had the wind sort of washing this way and I had the throttle all the way forward let me move this out of the way I had the throttle all the way forward and this thing would not move so and it was the wind was not that much so definitely definitely vulnerable to just a little amount of wind but other than that if there is no wind or if you turn it around and it has a tailwind which I did it moves much faster and it's more enjoyable now in terms of time you get probably six minutes, six, seven minutes with this thing. Um, but again, it was fun flying it for sure. And to go around the chopper, one of the things that I that actually made me buy this, let's put the transmitter back. Uh, one of the things that made me buy this was the color. I really loved the color when I saw it in, you know, at the store. And it, this was an impulse buy, and I'm like, okay. Uh, so I picked it up, it was 30 bucks. I'm like, what do I have to lose? Uh, the frame looks pretty neat. Uh, again, I like the the fake carbon <laughs> display, carbon fiber display here. Um, and again, because it has a longer tail, uh, this may be the biggest uh, helicopter I've bought so far, being that I really just started flying this thing, so I'm, I'm kind of graduating up and up and up. Um, it has your standard gyro, just bigger, uh, your top and bottom blades, and then you've got a tail fan here with, with its own independent rotor or motor. Um, I almost never take these things apart. I've only taken one helicopter apart, but I bet it's the same mechanics inside, so I'm not even going to go through that. Um, the transmitter, the remote control. So with the remote control, let me get it so you can see it properly. You get your standard throttle and maybe not standard, uh, if you saw my review of the SEMA, one thing I loved about it was that the throttle is not a spring one. So that means that you can sort of set your altitude to whatever you want. So it moves freely. So you can set it to middle, you know, whatever, whatever how altitude you want. And you can basically let go of the throttle whenever you want to move around and just control this. And this controls your movement. 
and all that. You've got your trim right here. You can trim the helicopter, and it works. I would say, other than the wind, the transmitter to the to the helicopter, it's actually pretty responsive. So I can respect that. Um, you've got your on and off buttons here. Uh, these, I'm still not sure what they do, but they're there. Uh, I didn't really use them. You've got your battery housing back here. This is pretty standard. Um, now, I had fun flying this, honestly. And I would say for 30 bucks, you should definitely pick one up if you're looking for something you know that you can fly outdoors. And one of the cool things I love about this helicopter is that it's a perfect beginner's helicopter if you are just starting out outside or maybe graduating to something bigger and a little more faster. Again, this is not as fast, but it's a perfect beginner helicopter for outdoor flying. Now, one thing I do not like about this helicopter is charging it. The only way to charge this thing is one. See, you have your charging. Let me see if I can get the camera close there. This is your charging port here. When I first saw this, I was a little bit excited, you know, being that this is not normal. But then I was looking for a cable in the package, but there was no cable. That's because the charging cable is in here. Okay, let me show you. The charging cable is in here, and here is the twist. Well, it's not a twist. Some some helicopters have this. You can charge the helicopter by doing this. This is how you charge the helicopter. Now, the only problem is, this is the only way you charge the helicopter. It means you have to buy batteries on and off, and that sucks. What I'm probably gonna do is get some rechargeable batteries for this, but I didn't like the fact that I could not charge this through, say, a computer. Uh, I have to constantly waste my battery life to charge it. And this is not a, again, this is not a small helicopter. There's a bigger motor in there, and the standard charging time is an hour and a half. So 90 minutes to get about six minutes of, of flight time. And so that's the only downgrade I would give this thing. Other than that, flying it is pretty good, you know. There's not much to it. You get your standard flight time, your standard remote control, uh, and again, you get a little bit bigger helicopter. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please leave your comments and definitely give a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not yet. Uh, shortly, I'm going to be uploading the flight video. Hope you guys stay tuned for that, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. So it hovers pretty good anywhere you put it, uh, especially inside where there's no wind. And it's pretty responsive inside. Let's get it up a little higher. And there it is. Oh, this didn't fly. So. <laughs> uh, come on back down. Wanted to see how far up it'll go. There it goes climbing. Yeah, it's about to die, guys. Yeah, that does it. <laughs>